Hello! Thank you for clicking on to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do a little get ready with me because yes, that very kindly sent me some products to test out and I have not tried them out yet. So I thought it'd be fun for us to unbox everything and try everything out together so I can give you guys my first impression on the products while we get ready together. I kind of want to go for like a springtime look, maybe something a little bit peachy, pinkish, I don't know, orangey. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, I'm just gonna put my hair back in this cute little bunny rabbit headband. First, I'm gonna moisturize, and because I'm not really like going out or doing anything super fancy today, I'm just gonna go for light coverage and light moisturization. So I have the Plant Base um, Silky Emulsion and their Dalibin Innocent Sun Cream. So I've shown this before in my The Plant Base review. I'm gonna use that together for a light base. So I usually just put a little bit of the moisturizer on my hand like that and then I just dabble a little bit on top of there too of the sunscreen the sunscreen kind of gives it like a little bit of a light coverage and it brightens up my skin so I mix it together and I just put them on like that Okay, so that's just how the skin looks with just that and I think it looks pretty good like especially on days when my skin condition is alright I feel like that's pretty good enough for coverage just to kind of brighten up my skin Do you think I have a pretty bad under eye like darkness sometimes yellowness so I do like to do a little bit of coverage just underneath my eye so I'm just gonna go in with my pony effect cushion and just do light coverage there with the cushion gonna fold it and just dab it there just a little bit just to brighten up my under eye area a little bit next I'm gonna use this product that they sent it's a Reray fork eyebrow tint and I'm so excited that they sent this to me because I've actually been wanting to try this for a really long time I think I saw Pony or I saw another Korean makeup artist use this and try this and I always thought it was so cool So I saved it in my cart for the longest time But here it is So it has like little oh, kind of strokes there so it can mimic the eyebrow <laughs> Oops, so that's fine, but wow, it's actually very um, pigmented and very has a lot of ink on it already So I didn't expect it to come out so well I think I started a little bit too low on my eyebrows, so I'm just gonna brush that out. Let's try again. Do you see that? It actually does look like strokes on my eyebrow. It is a little bit darker than I expected to be. I almost, I almost didn't expect it to be this pigmented. I'm gonna be very gentle with this one. But the the way that it goes on is actually very nice because it does mimic like strokes. And while you're brushing it on, it does kind of help stroke your eyebrows up as well. It's not that easy to use though because of how well it goes on. It is a little bit hard to control, I think. It's a little bit of a mess on this side. Look at the little brush marks on the top. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit. Oh my goodness, it looks so dark actually. I kind of look like Im Ju Gyeong from True Beauty. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit with a Q-tip. Oh, well, it comes out very easily. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It does make it very easy to fix, but will it fall out through the day? I don't know. Do you think because it is strokes like this, it makes it kind of almost like very boxy. Like it looks very square on the side of the eyebrows. So I think I'm gonna try to feather it out with a spoolie. 
There we go. I think that looks okay. I am pretty impressed with how well the product goes on. Maybe a little bit too well because I do think it is very pigmented and very dark and it goes on very easily. So you can't really, you don't really have base to kind of fix it because it literally goes on like a marker. I kind of almost wish it was just a little bit lighter so you can kind of build on it versus it just goes on and it's it's there. But yeah, it also says it's a tint. So I wonder if it'll like last long or it'll actually tint your eyebrows to make it look like that. Moving along because that took way too long. I'm gonna do some highlight on my base of my face. So I'm gonna use the Cleo Prism Air that they also sent. Ta this is what it looks like. Clean pen for a swatch. So Quite a lot of color actually. I guess kind of almost has like a peachy gold undertone. Very light. So I'm just gonna go in the inner corners of my eye. Have a little bit of highlight there, just in the inner corners. Nose. Like that. And you can see, maybe you can see the one on the tip of my nose. That's pretty shiny. Then put some on my eyebrow bone just to test out. How well it shows. Yeah, I like that it's very subtle and very buildable. So this one is really good for like just slowly building up the color. And it's very natural. And next, I do want to contour my face. And I'm going to use my Too Cool for School Art Class Contour. This one also is very light. I do think like a lot of Korean makeup products are meant to be very light. Maybe I'll do a little bit on my nose here as well. Sometimes I feel like it's so light that I can't even see the difference. Especially if you normally use American products. Sometimes you go switching to Korean products all of a sudden you feel like I don't, I don't know if anything is happening. But it's a very natural look so I do like that about it. Okay now moving on to the eyes. They sent me two of the, the the same Semul single blusher. So these are actually blushes, but I did pick up this color because I wanted to try it on my eyes for kind of more like a spring summery look. I thought it was just such a pretty color. This one is in the shade Honey Yellow, so even the name is so cute. So oh, it picks up really nicely actually. <laughs> I'm just swatching using it all on my arm. Yeah, so very again, very light honey yellow. It really does remind me of honey and bees. I'm just gonna put that as the main color on my eyelids. So I feel like my eyelids are so dark. Color darkens once it goes onto my eye. Very subtle, right? Yeah, I don't know if I would ever use this color on my cheeks as a blusher and as intended, but. I think for a summer color, it is really nice. Next, I'm gonna go in with this color. So the more pinky color. This one's called Apricot Whipping. I'm gonna go in with a brush this time and concentrate on the outer corners of my eyes and blend the two colors together. So again, very subtle. And I forgot to do a swatch, so I'll swatch it for you guys. Use another finger. This is what it looks like. It's kind of more of a pale pink, but a very light color with a little bit of kind of orange. So I guess that's where the apricot comes from. And then I'm just swatching it here. Very light. It kind of comes out as more of a brighter pink than I expected it to be. I think I probably will use this as the blush too to try it out because I think it's such a pretty color. So the eye look has been very subtle so far, so I'm gonna jazz it up with these two. So I have these two black rouge pervly pearly glitter and there's one in the color iron red and the other in the color mystery black Ooh, look how sparkly it is Ooh, look at this one this one's so pretty okay i'm gonna swatch this one first oh and it comes in a really thin brush i didn't expect that it's like a very thin just swatch it on the palm of my hand Oh, okay, so it's like kind of like a clear gel with the sparkles on it So this one kind of has like bluish blackish 
silver green sparkles inside yeah so it goes on clear so you can pretty much match it with whatever color you want for eyeshadow let's do this color this one has uh, like red purple orange green sparkles kind of does have like a smell though kind of like a glue smell so i think i'm gonna go for this color here it doesn't sting which is a good thing because i have used some other glitter eyeliner type liquid form before and sometimes it stings okay so next i'm just gonna go with some eyeliner and we're going with our pencil eyeliner first And then I'm just gonna wing out my eye a little bit with the, my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Okay, next I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and do mascara. Wow, surprisingly none of the glitter or the eyeshadow blusher has come off onto the eyelash curler, which is very rare I find. Wow, literally nothing. It's only the eyeliner that has come off a little bit. Okay, next I'm gonna use the Suvimi Everlong Mascara. It looks very actually luxurious. Kind of reminds me of like Lancome. The packaging and the text. Oh, it's huge. Even the mascara wand is bigger than usual. I feel like I don't use a lot of mascara. Most of the time I just use fake eyelashes because I have such thin and short and sparse lashes kind of has a weird smell to it too i don't really see much going on on my eyelashes and it feels like it feels very dry it doesn't really feel like there's much on the wand and much that's going on to the lashes i almost feel like i'm just brushing my eyelashes with a dry brush doesn't really feel like there is much there yeah, I don't know about this mascara. And because the brush is so big, I don't really feel like it's really getting into my lashes. Yeah, I don't know about this. I think the only good thing about this is when I was looking at the product on their website, they have a lot of different colors. So if you wanted to go for like a, like a different color mascara, they have a lot of color options. But in terms of just like a normal mascara, I don't really recommend it. It's kind of whatever. It doesn't really do much. So this is the final look. It is very natural. I don't know if you can even see it on camera with the lighting um, because I can see it in real life like the eyeshadow and everything is there but it is a little bit on the lighter and more natural side but I think Korean cosmetics do tend to be like this. I think out of the products that I tried today, the my favorite product is the Cleo Prism Air. This one's a very nice kind of like champagne light sh highlighter. Very natural. And I do like this blusher as a blush. This is also a very buildable, natural, kind of pink, shy, girl pink type of shade. And also I do like the glitter. I think the glitter is also pretty good product um it doesn't sting which is very nice it's a huge plus so my makeup is done but they also sent me uh, this nail polish by holika holika and these kind of cute little star nail art decorations so i think i'm gonna try doing my nails for the first time in a long time and see how this goes on it's i think it's such a pretty color though this one's kind of like a perfect spring color i would say bare nails here and let's see how it goes gooey i think i put too much there oh but the color is very nice okay got them open like this oops So I didn't really know how to put the, the nail stickers on but I think you can just put it on directly onto the nail when your nail polish is still wet so that it sticks. So that's the end result of the nails. I think the color is so feminine and pretty so I think it'd be it looked nicer if my hands were a little bit more pale but 
overall it's a very feminine color so that's all for today's look and get ready with me thank you again to YesStyle for sending me these items to test out and try out um, if you liked any of the items I'll link them down below you can also use my promo code VickyLogic to get some percentages off thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye